Hey, Nintendo. Look, okay, we we need to talk. I see what you've been doing. You've been putting all the putting on the big boy pants, finally putting games like Resident Evil, Dark Souls, Amnesia. Hell, you even got some FPS bangers on your list now. It's finally about time we drop that whole family friendly shtick and move towards what the audience that you're really after wants with the Switch. You know, the audience that you're really going for here. True gamers. We both know that nothing gets true gamers sweating like a double down on doing Doritos deal like one word. Achievements. Now, it's easy there. I know what you're thinking. I ain't changing up Nintendo style or branding or anything. But I know how much we all love that good old nostalgia hit to the veins when you hear... Oh, oh, that's that fucking good shit. But we're not, we're not doing that here. We're Xbox, you can have that. Microsoft, go take that. Go play with your toys somewhere else, okay? I want this to act like achievements, but feel like Nintendo. So let me introduce you to the Nintendo sticker score. Yeah, that's right. Remember that shitty part of Smash Bros. Brawl that you took one look at and you're like, ah, oh, shit, cool, okay, stickers, oh, let's never look at that again. Yeah, we're doing that shit. Right, let's take let's take a quick look into launching the Sticker Score app. I really wanted to follow the same branding and layout as the Nintendo Online Retro Catalogs with just, just fucking smack you over the head with the glorious Nintendo Red here. Got that little sidebar on the left so you can fly out into the full menu and do whatever you want to do and then... What? What's it? What's it? What? What's this? We'll dive into these a bit more later on, but this will be the equivalent of viewing someone's profile. You take a look into their sticker book. You also have the option to do a quick little inspect here and see some info on their profile and their sticker activity. You get like a little overall sticker score or a possible sticker score. Kind of works similar to how Xbox does their scoring system and their, and their achievements. Next up to bat is the account information with some brief info like games played, hours played, total stickers, Ooh, and sticker pages. I wonder what that could be. Sounds pretty interesting. Classic foreshadowing. <laughs> and then some recently played titles, how long ago, and recent stickers. At the time when I made the core design for this, Animal Crossing looked a lot more like, wow, 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 wow. And a lot less like, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine. Now buckle up, sweetie. We're turning this car around real quick. We're gonna do a quick 180. Remember these? Sleek, fashionable. Totally unique and in this season. Well, you can customize them and do them up fancy to showcase whatever color you want, pattern, rep a game, or just be artistic. Mwah. Perfect. Just a little touch of personality to showcase your favorite games, gaming personality, whatever else you pay your therapist to figure out about your underlying parental issues. Uh, hashtag red with anger. You're not even my real dad. You're also able to pop into the sticker book and just for a second here, just for a second, close your eyes. Imagine the rustle of pages flipping when the book opens in a sexy little animation that I was way too lazy to animate at this point. One day, Blender, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, bam, we at the table of contents. Look, you got Odyssey, you got your pandemic coping support, you got your Smash Ultimate, you got your... You got Stardew Valley? You can even search in this section for a game in your sticker library by hitting the Y button because, you know... Nintendo and Microsoft like you to have an identity crisis whenever there's a button prompt. So let's just triple jump and wahoo our, our little way into Mario Odyssey over here. Because it's the top one and I uh, it's the only page of design, so deal with it. Okay, so first things first, like most pages, you got your little chapter headings up here to show the game and the user. We also got some fancy little notifications for each new sticker. Then you can move around and select certain stickers and inspect them to find out a little bit more about each achievement. There will be new achievements, completed ones, uncompleted ones that are just silhouetted and grayed out. And then every good game has to have a couple little secret achievements to unlock as well. You can see those down on the bottom right over there. What do you do for these? I'll never tell. I know most achievements for other platforms show up in a list with details, title, yada yada. And don't get me wrong, that's a great layout for the sweaties, those who want all the details, but I wanted every aspect of Nintendo's achievements to be visual based rather than detail or information based. Cause A, this takes away from the sweaty achievement hunter style, and B, Nintendo does have a younger audience and this is just easier of a layout to understand than overwhelming amounts of details. But hey, if this were real, uh, you could probably just add an actual layout option to switch between visual and detailed. I remember that setting for everyone's sticker, but actually, you know, I really like that. Kinda wish I originally designed that. But goddammit, I'm not designing any more of this. I'm done with this project. 
So after you're done contemplating what console you're actually playing on, you can just hit Y and it'll fly open the little panel here. And it'll provide a nice little breakdown of it, including title, game title, little difficulty icon here, probably a range from like one to five or could do a rarity system either or. Then you got your little description so you actually know how you got it, some fancy little info like when you got it, you know, stuff like date achieved, how many points it's worth, the difficulty rarity level in writing, percentage of other people who got it, fun stuff. Then a quick little look at your friends that have it and don't have it so the kids know who to beat up on the playground, you know, the classic stuff. But let's be real, all this is fine and dandy, but it wouldn't really be Nintendo if they didn't literally take cardboard, give it a gimmick, and then resell it to you at top price for five years with no sale. I love you, Nintendo, you greedy s So what's the gimmick beyond stickers? What you do with them, and the biggest potential shitstorm of an idea that could probably go wrong in all the same way giving creative freedom to Nintendo fans goes, making loot art of them in some way or some form. Ignoring how quickly someone will R34 a sticker book for a second, I wanted to feature a sticker page at the front of everyone's books so that when you collect a sticker, you can put it on show instead of having to sift through a bunch of different games to see your top stickers, and you can just put them front and center. I'm thinking like maybe hit them with like a cap at three front pages or hell, even one so it doesn't get too bothersome to go through. Open to interpretations here. Ideally, this could be used for a younger audience to make art of the pages in a fun way, or the sweaties, yes, that includes myself, to showcase how much better you are than everybody else. Or hey, you know, clean layouts for the Monicas of the world, or just pure chaos incarnate. Looking like the side of a Sprinter van of an indie band, you got so many stickers plastered onto that thing. You know, whichever one you want, the sticker book's your oyster. Either way, it could be a fun reward for completing unique challenges, offer a little friendly competition. Yeah, I fucking 100 percent at Hotoful Boyfriend and Cuphead. Eat a dick, Gary. Or, you know, just make some beautiful art or some shit. Oh God, what are you doing? No, 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 not that kind of art.